Uh, Cincinnati is put into the national spotlight Monday night. City officials are reassuring us they will be vigilant and they will be prepared. WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller live tonight with how they plan to keep us safe. Curtis. Well, Mike, I talked to the city manager and the head of our local Homeland Security Fusion Center. They say the plan is very similar to what we saw at the All Star game a tight, coordinated security effort in the urban core, but still allowing people to have a little fun downtown. The world will be watching Cincinnati because of the big game, but it also makes Cincinnati a target, just like Paris. We live in a global society now. You know, what happens in another city, in another state, could have impact and implications for Cincinnati. It just means that we just have to uh, uh, be vigilant. We have to uh, be prepared uh, and uh, just be ready for just about anything. The preparation includes working with Homeland Security and the local fusion center. Maintaining regular communications with local, state, and federal officials, along with talks with the NFL and the Bengals. The Cincinnati Police Department is coordinating with regional law enforcement to step up the security presence in and around the downtown area. We have no reason to believe that, uh, uh, that anything will happen because there's nothing registering in terms of threats at this time, but the key is uh, it's, it's okay to be overprepared. The folks at one of the popular spots downtown, the Holy Grail, tell me they have not been contacted by police about any security changes. I haven't had a discussion with anybody on that level yet, but what I can say is uh, Cincinnati police do a wonderful job down here. There's a police station right next door to our business. There are cameras to cover every inch and angle of the banks. So I'm not too concerned. They've had a big warm-up. They did a great job during All-Star Week. Um, I, think they're, I think they're ready. Now, officials say the real unknown is the homegrown extremists. They say they can often fly under the radar. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5.